We'll guide you through how to fix a PS4 error CE-30005-8 If you guys find this useful then please consider subscribing and once you've done that then please consider leaving a like and let's get started This error occurs when the console is accessing the hard disk or the HDD or Blu-ray slash DVD drive These steps should help you resolve this issue First, the first step is to eject the disk from your console and inspect it for any damage to eject the disk, you press the button located next to your power button on your console. That should eject the disk from the console. And I just took mine out. Inspect it, just flip it over and make sure that there are, there are no scratches uh, to this part right here. And uh, see if it's dirty. If it's dirty, just take a microfiber cloth and wipe it down. That should uh, fix it. After you're done with inspecting it and cleaning it, just take it and reinsert it inside of your console and put it inside of the DVD drive. If this issue keeps persisting, try deleting the saved data of the game. To do that, take your controller, swipe up and go to the second to last option right here and call settings. Open that up. Scroll down until you find the storage section. Here it is. Open it up. Then select system storage. And in here, scroll down and go into saved data. Open that up. Select it once more. This is the saved data of the games. Find the game that you're looking for. Open that the, the game up. And when you find the data that should be posing an issue, it will usually have the corrupted name next to it. Select that uh, file and uh, hover over it and press the options button. Then go to the right and press the delete option. So the next method after if this doesn't work is to go over and find the game that has that uh, issue or that error and hover, hover over it, press the options button on your controller and just delete the game. Then after you have deleted it, just reinstall it and that should probably fix the issue. If none of these uh, methods worked so far, the last method is to rebuild your database. So how to do that? You press and hold the PlayStation power button uh, and you wait for your PlayStation to be turned off. You will hold for a, a, around 5 to 10 seconds and this screen will show up. Then wait for your PlayStation 4 to fully shut down. After that has happened, press and hold the, play, uh, the power button on your console for about 10 seconds or until you hear a second beep. Then after you hear that second beep, you let go of the power button. I just did, so I will let go. Now that should bring us to safe mode where we can access the rebuild database option. As you can see, we need to connect our controller using a USB cable or the charger that you use for your controller. We take the micro USB part of the charger and we plug it to the top of our controller as you can see right here. Then we take the other part and we plug it inside of our PS4. And now just press the PlayStation button. Here we can scroll down and go over to the fifth method called rebuild database and select it. Rebuilding your database will allow your console to fix any corrupted files that it has inside of its operating system and restore everything as it was and not to delete anything that you have installed till that point so that is it for this video thank you for watching see you in the next one